Yo, what's up guys? Short video here. I just wanted to go ahead and make a video going over something that I just noticed. So tomorrow is going to be the first event for the temporary leagues, right? And while I was rereading through the information, I noticed something interesting. You'll be able to win two guaranteed Ancestor Mystery Boxes per account for reaching level 50. At first, I didn't see this, and this was going to be a very different video of me complaining, what the hell, GGG, why aren't you giving us anything? You've always given us at least a Mystery Box for hitting level 50. Like, what's going on? Why, why aren't they giving us anything? And then that's when I went ahead and I went back and I reread the announcement. Okay, sorry, my dog had to go potty. Back to my rant. Okay, so when I was originally thinking that they weren't giving us anything, I had to go back to older videos to make sure that I wasn't tripping. I went back to make sure that we did receive rewards and older temporary leagues. And right here, you'll be able to earn one Sanctum Mystery Box. And then over here, you'll be able to earn one Calandra Mystery Box, right? So I wanted to go back into those videos to double check and make sure that... Um, I wasn't tripping and they actually did give us mystery boxes previously because I have a terrible memory. So I went ahead and I checked, but then that's when I noticed after rereading, we get additional rewards. We're getting two mystery boxes. The previous temporary leagues, even if you played all three of them, you were capped at one mystery box, but now you get the additional mystery box. You get an additional mystery box just for playing an additional league. And it's only until level 50. It's really not that hard to get a character to level 50 since majority of builds, even if it's the shittiest build ever, you can play Vol Cleave and hit level 50, dude. So just get your free mystery boxes. On top of that, the recombinators and items from the blast from the past are not going to be voided if you do anything in standard or one currency in standard for whatever reason you're going to want to play this because this is not a voided league this is going to go into the core game so the character and the gear from this blast from the past is going to go into standard but I just wanted to go ahead and make a short video real quick because I had a mini heart attack thinking GGG was being extra cheap when the player numbers and everything have been going up so much. I'm like, what the hell? But no, they're they're actually giving us more. So appreciate a free extra shit. So play your two characters to level 50. I'd say blast from the past and then Krangled if you like it, Shifting Stones if you like it, it literally random RNG calculator, uh, flip a coin, like just pick whichever one and just get at least a character to level 50 because you do it does have to be separate events. You can't get two level 50 characters in Blast from the Past. The way that it's saying it is that you have to play two different events to level 50, which makes sense because of like player retention wise, right? Like you have to continuously play, but it's still additional rewards and that's really cool. And on top of the fact, like if you want to be competitive about it, the rewards do go all the way to tier 95 i mean level 95 anyways so that's it i just wanted to make a short rat video originally saying that what the fuck ggg no rewards but then we i reread it and found out we get extra rewards so it's good job ggg extra rewards <laughs> uh yeah so i'll see you guys tomorrow for the krangle league because i'm going to probably do these two because it's i mean I have stuff to do on the 17th. That's the old school league. I'm not going to be missing that for this. Sorry. But yeah, take care.